What up, it's Brain here. Today I want to learn the parallel slide. So we're gonna go down to the smoothest piece of concrete I know, which isn't that smooth at all, and we're gonna try to learn them. I'm gonna start off by doing every slide I know just to get the feel of sliding on the edge of my wheels, hoping that'll help me pick it up. <laughs> So I've watched pretty much every tutorial for this there is on YouTube, um, including like seven from Ricardo Lino. So I think I got the basic idea of how to learn it. It's pretty much just a carve into a really quick 180 that should help you pick it up. Um, so I'm gonna really focus on trying to do a figure eight and drift into doing the parallel slide. Biggest thing I think has helped me to learn these so far to get me where I am now is uh, I was doing it in the wrong way. My dominant foot is the one that's in front. So I don't do it like I would do a Royale. I do it like I do a front side if you're an aggressive skater. <laughs> I do it the way I do a power slide. Once I started doing it like that, then I found I could actually slide it. Even though I'd end up sliding one foot, I found I was actually kind of sliding it. I'm gonna get it today. <laughs> few there I can feel like I'm doing it properly but I have no idea how to replicate it. Doing the figure eight carve has actually thrown me off quite a lot because uh, when I'm approaching it I always forget which way I'm going first and I feel like I always add an extra carve in there. So I do like two, three turns to get into it which throws me off hard and it also really makes me struggle to aim this trick and even put it in the direction I want. It just feels like I have no control over where it's going to happen, how long it's going to be. But I have a feeling that it's just going to take heaps and heaps of attempts, like thousands of attempts for me to master this. So let's go bang another thousand out.
So when I don't dip my toe too much and scrape the ground, I'm noticing that getting quite low, which is probably pretty straightforward, but bending my knees and getting low when I try slide it helps so much. It feels much more underneath me. Uh, every time I stiffen up, the slide feels like it's in front of me. It feels horrible. But I think I'm getting some good ones here. I think I'm starting to finally pick it up. But the more I try to think about it, the more I think about what I'm doing to make the ones work that work, the more I can't do them. It's like I have to start from scratch again and do like another 20 just to get back to where I was. So it's so frustrating. So I think I've got a few good ones there and it's probably the best I'm going to get today. I think I just need to come back and do this as often as possible. Uh, I really don't feel like I can do this in any other spot other than this one right here. But yeah, anyway, we can work on that later. What I want to do is go get some, hopefully, Ricardo Lino style close-up slow-mo shots of me doing this. And hopefully you guys can maybe give me some tips on what I'm doing wrong. I've asked the tips before and the tips usually don't really help. I think this is a lot like learning to do a Royale for aggressive roll landing. It's a really hard thing to explain. You kind of just got to pick it up one day. Keep trying it until you pick it up. The tips will definitely help, but I don't think they will directly teach you. You know, I don't know. That's the correlation I'm making here. I just need to keep trying it, I think. But anyway, let's do that. And then after that, I've got a couple other things I want to do at this spot and then we'll be done for the day. it that's my exercise for the day i think i made some good progress i think it's going to take a lot more repetition for me to be able to just do this everywhere like bill stop it and ricardo lino i did notice this one tip uh from one of ricardo lino's videos where he's teaching someone to parallel slide um, and i haven't heard it in any other video and it's that when you do the parallel slide you shouldn't be sliding completely 90 degrees you should put your feet on a slight angle so that either i think your heels are leading might be your toes, I don't know. Now, I think that's probably what's making me get hung up so much. So I really want to try that now. Um, but I don't think I have that much control over the direction I'm going, let alone what way my feet are facing. So I don't know if it's going to help. Oh, my light turned off. So I'm just going to keep trying this. Maybe I'll film it. I feel like this might be quite boring because it's kind of it's watching the same thing over again. So I might not. I might just film a game once I've mastered them. But yeah, thanks so much for coming along. I hope I gave you some tips if you're trying to learn it. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm definitely more of an aggressive skater than an urban skater. But, you know, I love rollerblading, so I'm going to be doing all of it. If you want to see more, you should subscribe because I post at least once a week and I'd appreciate it a lot. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Huge shout out to my patrons, Costa Blades, Adam, Kevin, Chris, Deb, Dennis, Fabian, Joel, Lake Brothers Blading, Mark, Mike, Nathaniel, Sean, Skids Grind Plates, Sweet Moves, Tuggy, and the Booker Grinds. And I'll see you all later on. Peace out.